my name is Sakshi Shukla. I come from Panipat city in Haryana, India. So I did my bachelor's way back in 2016 in electronics and communication engineering. Uh, post that, I did some of the experience in the IT industry with a company called Genpact, uh, where I learned about the professional uh, domain uh, of my interest. So I realized there was a little bit of gap in the domain knowledge that I should have and what the market was demanding. So that's why I decided to pursue masters. So I came to US to pursue my masters in the field of information technology in 2019. So I completed my masters in uh, May 2021 uh, in information technology with concentration in advanced data. That was my domain of interest. And after that, going through a lot of interviews, uh, I landed up in the golden opportunity of being a part of uh, Tata Consultancy Services, which we know TCS, on the position of data analyst. I decided not to put my applications on a lot of universities because at the end I have to go to one university. It doesn't make sense to apply for numerous of them. So what I decided is to go for two desired, two dream and two like in which I will automatically get in means I would obviously get in. So I remember I got from my both the desired universities, both the desired uh, universities and uh, both my normal universities. And I remember I received a call from Colorado State University, but uh, they were asking me to give GRE one more time. But I was like, I'm done. I want to enter fall semester. I am not ready to give one more exam. So. That's why I have to give up for Colorado State University, but uh, I was confused with the University of Maryland, Baltimore, UMBC. Um, but uh, deciding upon UNCC and UMBC, I opt for UNCC because of its uh, course structure. Actually, we didn't have GP in India. We mostly have percentages. So I remember I had my percentage somewhere around 72% in my bachelor's and then um, I didn't bother to convert it into GPA so I just uh, directly told them this is my percentage and uh, I had my GRE score not too good I remember it was somewhere around 299 something or 300 because I gave it two times so but yeah I remember my um, uh, IELTS score, I gave IELTS instead of TOEFL, there was some kind of time restriction and I could not have that much of time to prepare for IELTS, uh, sorry for TOEFL, so I gave it IELTS, that was pretty good, that was somewhere around 7.5 or 8 and I did pretty well in my all the reading, speaking and self that really helped me to go through the admits, so yeah, this is it. I did apply for that, uh, but uh, thankfully I landed it up into the teaching assistantship position. So that was really helpful to, you know, have those financial help from the university. So that were like some of the benefits that we get from university apart from, I would say, a total scholarship. If you are good in that particular domain, don't feel hesitant, just reach out to the professor. They are very friendly and they're very prompt. Reply to their emails. Don't hesitate that if you don't have a, that much of experience, they won't entertain you. They can entertain you if you have that much of interest with you. So I really like that positive energy getting back to me. So yeah, I just randomly reached out to a few of the professors of my domain with my resume and my interest that I have this much of experience. I really want to work under because they had some of very interesting research doing by themselves. So this kind of approach, positive approach really can help you to get a good position under any professor you really like to work with. I decided to live in the Indian community that was not on campus, it's actually off campus but it's within the premise of the university. So. It's somewhere around the university, so you get a lot of Indian students around you, so you look around for the cheaper sections around you. 
since it's an indian community and the landlords are familiar with it so they have some kind of uh, you can you can say student discount for us so i would say now the things are like being a little bit expensive so it's somewhere around 500 dollars per month that can easily go to into your rent without any cut short stuff apart from that you can take a estimate of 100 dollars somewhere around for your monthly grocery shopping or even if you like eating outside sometimes so yeah that can make up for a month and apart from that depends upon your lifestyle that how you like to live and all but yeah uh it's not that you have to always cut short is uh, how you manage it because some months you want to travel with your friends that's okay but for the uh, consecutive months you can you know manage your money accordingly and especially if you have a ta you can save a lot of money then i gave gre and i i know it it was not a good score and as everybody says if you don't score that much of minimum amount of uh, cut short then you won't get into the good universities i initially believed in that but uh, that thing can really depress you but that i remember exclusively when comes the role of yoket when i made my profile i remember there was like uh, when you made your profile you can see the profiles of other students as well you can see that how many people are already enrolled in that particular university and how many people have already got the admits So I remember when I was going through the universities I look around that marks was not the only limit it's not just the marks that if you score 310 320 only then you can get into it uh I remember there were a lot of people who were of my range getting same marks so I got confident at that step I remember very clearly and then the second step was your SOPs so I paid all my attention to the SOPs that it has to be clear and clean that why i am aiming for this university what i have done already what i really want to do my short term goal and my future goals and you should be specific toward that university that this is why i am choosing university because people over here they will go through your sobs it's not just that it will just walk through it no they will thoroughly go through it and if your sop is interesting if you have done some interesting work in your life it's going to attract it's going to grab the eyes of the people who are going through your application and i remember that's why i got the call from colorado that we really liked your sops we want you to give a uh, chiari one more time so that they have certain kind of requirement uh, but uh, i remember i was appreciated for my university twice thrice so I paid attention to it. I made it in a certain form of a story that it should not be like all my achievements or all my YouTube links or my LinkedIn links. No, it should be like a proper my story with my history in it. It should not be copy paste. So pay attention to your SOPs. They really play an important role apart from what you have done in your exam. That I remember clearly. I am a traveler and I am an explorer so I decided to come few days before my semester started so I can look around the university area as well as my the place where I am living so it really help you to take some time and adjust with the surroundings because initially days can be exhausting because uh, you don't know where the indian store is you don't know how to cook food things are totally different and um, understanding how your neighbors are so it took some time uh, and then uh, i i still now it's it's a new thing that i have evolved in me is that my all days are planned even your weekends are booked either you're going out or you're meeting someone we used to go out i remember when i came in august immediately just happened that i went to new york to uh, celebrate christmas and new year so it was all of a sudden it's not that you can't um, go here and there and it's not always like you go here and there you have to study and manage so yeah i have been to different places i have covered new york i have covered boston now in the coming weeks i'm planning to have some more places to cover so us is all about traveling so you should manage your stuff accordingly i i would say it's much better now 
the students who have just came or they have just completed one or two semester they have already landed up in internships they have already have offers in their hand for the internship so i believe for the full time as well they will have letters in their hand in advance and most importantly have trust in you because you will hear a lot of things from here and there that uh, this is not going to happen or things are not stable but if you believe in yourself you know you have planned stuff i know everything cannot be planned since the current situation but if you have some kind of aim in your mind that this is what i want to do yes i want to pursue masters from this that university it's going to happen someday just being patient and believing in yourself is the only way you can go through all the hurdles in your life